I was wrong. Team, keep it clean. And my apologies. I, I gave y'all incorrect information. That's on me. I, I think it was probably because I was wearing this jacket in the video instead of this one right here. Um, and it was in yesterday's video. In yesterday's video where we went over the USA Today article where it talked about the Ravens' potential cap casualties. And I had the dead money. I had it all messed up. Uh, so that's on me. My understanding was that with the cap savings that that was the positive number and the dead money was the negative number and in order to get the accurate number of what the relief would be you take away the negative number from the positive number and whatever the total or the, the result of that is then that would be how much money the ravens would save on the cap but that was wrong and we're gonna break down exactly um what the right answer to that would be uh we're gonna get this thing corrected so my apologies again y'all to anybody who i confuse because I, I i never want to do that i don't want to confuse y'all y'all know i'll be, be confused myself enough time i don't want to confuse y'all too um so my my apologies on that but let's get the right information out there and real quick shout out to y'all in the comment section that corrected me and shout out to my guy jason from huddle it up films i was just talking to him for a while and he gave me the breakdown and stuff and i was like oh my goodness thank you because now i get it and it makes that much more sense so I appreciate him big time. I appreciate y'all big time. Real quick, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I know some people are like, I ain't subscribing to that guy. He gave me the wrong information. So my apologies. My apologies. But um, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. So when we do get stuff right, and like I tell y'all, like, look, look, it's going to be a lot of stuff that we get wrong, man, straight up. Gonna, we we going to get some stuff wrong. It happens. But I am not somebody that's afraid to say, hey, I was wrong. I was wrong about that. <laughs> I was way wrong about that. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. And as you can tell, I'm somebody that needs a lot of help. A whole lot of help. But anyway, let's get into it. So, Ronnie Stanley. Um, Ronnie Stanley, uh, for his, the, his money, it says the cap savings for Ronnie Stanley will be 15 mil, but the dead money hit would be 11.1 .1 mil. So, what I was thinking initially, my initial thoughts were like, all right. So cap saving is 15 mil. That's a positive number. Dead money is 11.1 .1 mil. That's a negative number. So we subtract 11.1 .1 mil from 15 mil, and that will give us how much money we could save on a cap if we cut Ronnie Stanley. That's what I was thinking. That's wrong. That's wrong. The cap savings is how much the Ravens, would, that's, that would be the relief that they would get on the salary cap. Now with the dead money, the, the way that you can make this make sense, the way it makes sense to me, if you take the cap savings and you add it to the dead money hit, so that's 15 mil plus 11.1 .1 mil. Ronnie Stanley's salary this year is 26.1 mil. His salary, the, the salary of the player is the cap savings plus the dead money hit combined. But um, the dead money hit is just money that you, you can't get back. It's like guaranteed money, whatever bonuses they got and whatnot. But that's money that the Ravens cannot get back if they cut that player. But if they cut that player, they would get the cap savings back. So Ronnie Stanley was the first example. They would save 15 mil on a cap. They would get that money back but they would just lose that on 11 mil. Now, the way that they could do that with the dead money, you have the option to spread that dead money out. You have the option to put it all on the salary cap this year, or you have the option to spread it out over the next couple of years. Um, the way that you can do that, uh, you can spread the money out by designating him as a post-June 1st release. And if you designate a player as a post-June 1st release, and you have the option to do this with two players before June 1st, uh, after June 1st, you can do it with whoever you want to. But you have the option to do this with two players before June 1st. And shout out to Brian McFarlane because he let me know about that. So shout out to him, Raven Salary Cap on Twitter. See, it's, it's, this whole thing is a learning process, man. I tell y'all, like, there's some stuff that I know, but y'all know way, way, way more than me when it comes to salary cap, when it comes to film, when it comes to plays, when it comes to schemes, when it comes to an analytics, when it comes to whatever. Y'all y'all got it. I'm still learning a whole lot. So I appreciate y'all being part of this learning process with me. But anyway, with post June 1st, if you if you designate somebody as a post June 1st release before June 1st, that is, um, then that splits the dead money into two years. So for Ronnie Stanley, for example, if they designated him as a post June 1st release, then that 11.1 .1 million dead money, half of it could go on to the cap in 2024. Then the other half could go on to the cap in 2025. So I hope that I explained that clearly and correctly. Y'all, hey, feel free to let me know. If I didn't, please let me know. Let me know. Anything that I don't explain correctly, y'all let me know. And I appreciate the fact that some of y'all did, and y'all did it respectfully. I always appreciate that. So, uh, again, Ronnie Stanley, if the Ravens were to release him, they would get 15 mil 
added to the cap. They would get 15 mil money added to the cap. So that's that. So moving on. Next uh, one was Tyus Bowser. So his was a post June first cut. So we know what the post June first cut is. That's if they designate somebody as a post June first cut and they want to split up the dead money into two years instead of putting it all on the salary cap this year. Uh, but post June first cut for Tyus Bowser or trade, uh, the cap savings would be 5.5 mil. The dead cap hit would be two mil. So if you add those two together, they equal 7.5 mil. That's Tyus Bowser's salary this year, 7.5 mil. But if they release him, they would get a cap save. They would they would save 5.5 mil on the cap. So they would get 5.5 mil back on the cap. You would lose that on that two mil. But again, that's not. It wouldn't take away from the cap at all. The see the the dead. Well, I was confused. I thought that with the dead money, that it would sort of take away from the cap. But no, it it, it won't. With the the dead money, that's just money that you're not getting that back. You're not getting that back. So out of like with the dead with the dead money out of Tyus Bowser's seven point five salary, his seven point five mil salary, five point five mil of that would be removed off of the cap. While the dead the dead cap hit, it, I mean it, it is on the cap. It's not removed, but the five point five mil is removed. So again, hopefully I'm explaining that correctly. So anyway, um, next up was Patrick Ricard. They said uh, whether he's cut or they do a post June first cut or traded him. The cap savings would be four mil. The dead cap hit would be one point one mil. So his salary this year is about five point one mil. If they cut or traded or released him, they would get four mil back on the cap. So his 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 again, he is due five point one mil. Again, let me make sure I'm explaining it right. He's he's making about five point one mil this year. But if they release him, they will get four mil back out of that five point one mil that he's making. So get it? I think we got it now. I I I think we all good now. So I think we all on the same page. Again, if I'm explaining something wrong, please let me know. But continuing. Uh so if they did a cut or post June first cut for Morgan Moses, offensive lineman, at right tackle, the cap savings would be five point five mil. The dead money would be one point four six mil so about 1.5 mil so he is making about seven mil this year yeah he's making about seven mil this year so they will get 5.5 mil back added to their cap if they released morgan moses out of his entire salary uh, and then that 1.4 one about 1.5 mil that would just be money that was still hit that would still count on the cap for the morgan moses contract See, we get it. I, I, yeah, I, I think we good now. I, I, I think I think we all good now. But let's keep it moving, though. For Justice Hill, the cap savings with him would be two point four seven. So about two point five mil, uh, and the dead cap hit would be five hundred thousand. So if they cut, release, trade a Justice Hill, then they would get about two point five mil added on to the cap. Uh, with Patrick McCary. For cap savings for him, it will be 4.35 mil. Um, so a little under 4.5 mil. The dead cap hit would be 2 mil. So his salary must be about six point, about 6.5 mil, a little under $6.5 million. Wow, these dudes make a lot of money. But anyway, um, if the Ravens cut him, they would get back on the cap 4.3, about 4.3 mil. Uh, and the dead cap hit, they, they wouldn't be able to take that 2 mil off the cap. So we getting it now Marlon Humphrey this this was one where I was like it doesn't make any sense because we would again the way that I thought that it went before it was just I had it completely wrong but Marlon Humphrey the cap savings with him uh it would be 11.75 mil the dead money would be 11.1 mil so you add those two together Marlon is making about 23 mil this year that's his salary this year but if the Ravens were to cut him then if they did a post June first cut on him, they could split up that 11 mil, that dead cap hit. That's 11 mil. They could split it up, maybe do like 5.5 this year, maybe 5.5 next year. However they split it up, they could put some on this cap and they could put some on next year's cap. So they could sort of spread out the hit so they could they could spread out the loss. So it could affect that's that's why teams do the post June first cuts, because when you designate somebody as a post June first cut, 
then that allows you to spread out that dead money. Uh, so you don't have to put it all on this year's cap. You get to spread it out a little bit. But anyway, if the Ravens were to cut Marlon Humphrey, then that would save them uh, about 11.7 mil uh, on the cap. And then the last, but certainly not least, was doing a post-June 1st cut for Mark Andrews. And with Mark Andrews, the savings would be 11 mil. The dead money would be about 5.9 mil, so about 6 mil. So Mark Andrews must be making about, about, about 17 mil, a little under 17 million this year. That's what his salary is. So if the Ravens were to cut him, they would get 11 mil back, but they would still lose out on that 5.9 mil. And they would have the option to spread it out. Oof! That, um... That made my brain hurt. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, my goodness. But, again, it's worth it because now we have a better understanding of how exactly how that works. Because, um, boy, I, uh, whew, I sure got it wrong last time. Oh, and I, and I hope that I understand it right now. I think I do. I'm pretty sure that I do. Um, but I know if I don't, I know y'all will certainly let me know. But, yeah, it, it, makes, it makes more sense now. Um, as far as when I would be seeing like cap savings versus dead money and this and that, and it's like, oh, okay, we get it now. So again, my apologies to y'all. I, I hope that that made it clear. I know for some people, they probably like, oh man, that, that didn't help at all, buddy. So my apologies though. I appreciate y'all being patient with me. I appreciate y'all just, I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, very fun week ahead. Very busy week ahead. Uh, as y'all already know, but this should be a great week. I love you. I appreciate you. And we out.